Chanticleer house, there was a party. Oh, and that's you right. And at the Luke were house. singing mm -hmm. um, around the campfire mm -hmm. in the back. And that's I think right. like, painted horses played inside that night or something. I think, didn't we play outside too? There was like, a yeah. little stage set up in the backyard. No, the that was after. That was after. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, you well, guys had right. just started out Baloney Gray. It was back in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think we did it. We um, went on tour together. And then we did, like we a year tour. later. We were in a band together. Yeah. Yeah, but no, even was... before that, I think we had done some shows with you, and you played as yourself with Joe Capel, yeah. and then we were, and then we all played together as a band. We were like, "Holy fuck, yeah. Joe's so good!" I joined on band. We should yeah. ask him to join the band. Yeah. And he they said, have yes. This, they have this great band, and like, I would measure the decline of that band as like B, J, and A. Jay, like before I joined the band, you guys were so good. And then once I joined the band, it just like it got better. It kind of, I don't think that it, got it did. Way better. Well, <laughs> it was yeah, but they had a really good thing going. It was it was it was a great band. Yeah, but the decline yeah. really was just we were just young and like figuring out the dynamic between all of us and our relationships individually as we were like growing and learning how to be adults. Yes. In a band and like touring was tricky. It's hard for it anybody. It didn't but... help that you had just broken up with the fiddle player in the band. As well. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I have a rule now after that. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. never date somebody in your band. Ever. It's a good rule. Yeah. yeah. And the Abalone Grey days, I still look back on them very fondly. I'm like, oh, Me that, too. that was a Absolutely. fucking awesome time of it life. Was, it was one of, the, yeah, yeah, some of the best times. Yeah, sure. like touring and sleeping in tents. How many people do that? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It was a bit nuts because we'd end a show and that we'd like go drive to a place, set up tents, and then like get all our stuff ready, go play the show, and then go back to our campsites. Yeah. And camp. We all got into a mugwump at the in the tent. Oh, the mugwump. That? Yeah, that's yeah. my mom's word for like when a bunch of kittens are all in a pile together, like squirming on each other. <laughs> <laughs> so we all like did that because it was so cold. It, it was, was freezing. Like, it was like... We slept like at venues several times, just kind of wherever we could. We really dirtbagged it. We really dirtbagged <laughs> it. Yeah. And then now Kat has her own like musical empire, really. <laughs> I'm in a band. She's in a band and has like lots of recording projects and stuff. 
Well, I had been thinking about for a while that it would be nice to like capture what we've done on video because whenever we like see each other socially where there's a guitar or something we'll sing songs Mm -hmm. and it always sounds really nice and I'm always just like man like that would be cool to get a video of I'm curious about what your backstory was to both of these songs oh man well there will be a time was wanting to spend the night I guess with two different people and not being able to like knowing that you know one that one of those people I would probably never get the chance to like again you know it was like a very clear choice you can't have your cake and eat it too type of thing so I just wrote that about that um that happened at La Sierra Hoedown the first year Mm -hmm. um which is an amazing gathering amazing gathering humans and music and then story was about um just like you know a a, a, a love that never came to be Mm -hmm. you know santa cruz small town so you know keep it uh oh that's my soup no, this oh shit! That was oh fuck! I fucked that up. Is that the cutting That's, board? That's no wait. Sorry, turn it off. That's my fucking toast that I just <laughs> destroyed. Smoky. Oh <laughs> man! I turned. I'm so sorry. I ruined your spatula. <laughs> That's alright. Let's uh. I ruined let's your wrap spatula. It. And let's wrap it. That's a wrap. Thank you for watching. <laughs> my dad. <laughs> Six. That's, it smoky. A, that's a great way to end it. Oh my god. <laughs> Pat, you couldn't have, have chosen a better way to end the video. That's gold. That is gold, baby.